the Avengers. I mean, how, like you rightly said previously, everything is a risk because if one element doesn't fails, then the whole universe sort of could, it, it's potentially it could collapse. Yeah. What do you go in, um, what do you all go in, Ajay, what do you all go in with knowing that, um, what is the level of confidence, the uh, the level of conviction that you need to go in when, when the stakes are that high? I think uh, making a commercial film, <laughs> conviction is the only thing which works because other than that, everything is against you. Yeah. Uh, where logic is concerned uh, or where a, a, a segment of audience is concerned. <laughs> it's a risk which you take when you make a commercial hardcore mass film. It's, it's risky yeah. it's, and it will always be risky. Uh, but uh, we've been fortunate enough that it has worked in our favor. Yeah. And I think it's also step by step. Yeah. When, uh, you, take a, you take a baby step like we did one then we realized it can be a two because we got this kind of response. And after two, it was a baby step that let's do Simba and then merge Simba with it. And then, you know, it's like as as the audience starts accepting things, you take steps. So, it and you reach a point. And I think honesty is also very important in that. Like you can't, we can't, just because people love the character, we can't make the same thing again. Right. With, with like the budgets are like 10 times more. Correct. For Singham again, the scale is 10 times bigger, but that is what we have to work on now for the audience. No, Ajay. Honesty and rest it, it's up to the audience. And I think uh, with uh, Singham, uh, gradually it became a cult film. Yeah. When it had started, it was just an action film what we made. Right. And uh, through, means, with time, it's become cult because of satellite, I think. Yeah. People have started watching, watching it again over and over again. again. Yeah. And now, like, if a cop does a good job in any state or any city, it's like he's Gujarat ka singham, he's UP ka singham. So I think, and as you say, it's 13 years, and even we don't feel it like it's been 13 years now. Ajay, how do you remember the, the making the first film? How do I remember? Um, in fact, we were making something else. That's what I remember. And uh, uh, Rohit had locked the script, and we had finalized everything. And I remember I was shooting in London for another film. And uh, he called me up. And as soon as I had, I was supposed to come back from London, I was supposed to start shooting with him. And he called me up and he said, um, I've got a fabulous script. Let's change what we are making and let's make this. And uh, on the phone in five minutes, he narrated me the whole idea. And I said, okay. And as soon as I came back, he was already in Goa. And I just reached Goa from London. And we started shooting. So not a lot of time in prep and any of that. You know, I remember what what and it made people believe that that actually they're the good people. They they do the right thing and they can solve the crimes. All of which had actually the reputation had taken a little bit of a beating. Um, tell me what that was like, Rodan. Was it was it a personal mission to sort of to to kind of show us the glory of the of the cops? See, uh, when we, we were making it was it was a first of all Singham was done by Surya That's earlier. It. Yeah. And that's how we saw the film and then we made our draft uh, for the Hindi audience. And when uh, when we were making the first film, it was just a uh, hardcore mass action film. Right. Like we were planning to. And it was not an agenda that uh, we want to... But yes, definitely, uh, during the making of the film, yeah. uh, we did interact with a lot of cops. Yeah. And uh, how they what, uh, what they go through. Mm. And that was a little... Uh, uh, I thought okay, this is something which we should tell the audience and show the audience like their side of story, yeah. their personal side of story and that's how it all happened. Rohichan, I love you! Thank you, I love you too. Thank you, I love you too. Out of the moon. Ajay, for you, I mean, you know, you all have, the two of you think they want you as the, um, you know, almost the sort of unpaid ambassadors for the police, for the police force. What is that like, um, um, Ajay? Do you feel like that's sort of something, you know, I mean, that, that's what Singham achieved. And, and subsequently, the films that we've made have achieved. Yeah, so um, that's something we are very grateful for. Uh, when, uh, when, when the original Singhams, the cops, they recognize us. Uh, but that also gives you a lot of responsibility. Yeah, yeah. That, uh, you know, little things also. Earlier, when you were younger, you would jump a signal or something like that. Now, after, you know, this kind of uh, respect when you get. Uh, you're very very cautious that intentionally you should not be making any uh, mistakes. So I think in a way it's good also and uh, and a lot of responsibility also comes with it.
can we talk about the climax? To me, this is the best climax in many years. I haven't seen a better climax. And, and 13 years ago, it still feels like it's the most innovative, original. It's a classic for it. it. It's race against time. It's feeling like something is going to happen. And it's just amazing. How did you all achieve that? Do you remember shooting it? Did you? How do you know? The script. The climax of the film, we thought okay, it's an action film. It has to be like a lot of Scorpios and a lot of people and a lot of fighters and all that. And then we were like, it's not working. And you will not believe that we wrote this thing and we shot in one day. The whole sequence. The whole sequence we shot in one day in, uh, in Goa. So it was like we, we started writing it and it was just like uh, it, uh, the flow was like, okay, I think this will work uh, because people will <coughs> think that there will be an action climax and let's do it th this way. That's how it happened, and it clicked. Wow. Ajay, how do you know if it's working? How do you know when you're shooting something whether it's because this, so much you, depends on you, that. You time. you do get a hint. Yeah. Uh, you uh, realize that things are working, <coughs> and you also realize when the things are not working. Uh, but uh, yeah, so somewhere somewhere, uh, I mean, ninety nine percent you are not wrong in that it's working or not working. Deep inside, you right. feel that. Uh, if it's not working, you know when the film will, will release, then you will know that. Yeah. Uh, but most of the time, you get this inclination that you know we've gone wrong somewhere. Who came up with the line? Atamaji Sadakli. Who came up with that? And what is the story behind that? Again, one, one of those sort of. Uh, it, it, it's um, genuinely, you know, we, we had just written because those characters, both Singham and the villain Jaikan Shikri, they were Maharashtrians. That's right. And uh, it became an iconic line. Yeah. And. He just tells that, says that line once in the film. Yeah. Otherwise, it's told by the villain, yeah, right. by Jaikan Shikre throughout the film. And we never thought it was for us. It was just a line, and it became a again a line which like everybody says now. It's like yeah. we never thought about it. Now, did you remember? No, at that moment it was just a line. Just another line. You know, it's it's you deliver a lot of lines, and you don't know what the audience will uh, lap up. Yeah. So uh, it was while while doing it, and uh, it was just a line, and it became a cult line. And the pose? Should we do it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> pose, I think uh, it was the song. Ganesh Acharya yeah, had uh, done that, and then I think I'm telling you, nothing was planned. Wow. We were just making a normal mask. Because we made three goal goal marks by then, we had done all the best by then, and we were doing goal after that. So it was all comedies we were doing, and then in between we thought let's make a hardcore mass action film. And while making it, we was like if we go wrong because nobody was making mass action that time, we have goal budget and that will that will save us. So we never thought that it will become such a big film or it will become like a cult. You would never plan a super hit film. You only plan. Try to make a good film. Correct. Super, it happens if. Yeah. When did you? Most of them, 13 years ago, you all must be in school by then. I asked them, I said. Oh, so we are like that Bajpan ka uncles for you. Like, huh? Oh, you are going for Singham again, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> when did you know that there was potential to take the story forward? Also because that was a time when there was not many secure actor and, 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 and I think and maybe Rohit will, will jump in and uh, sort of add to this. I, 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 I assume it, it requires a lot of confidence and security to, to have that big heart and say let's open this universe up. Let's have more characters come in. Let's have other stars come in. But did you ever wonder whether Ajay would be open to that? Because for like I always give and the beauty really is that the Avengers are coming into the Singham film. It's not uh, you know this is not an Avengers film. This is the Singham film where the other Avengers are sort of coming. It's very much the owner of the franchise. The when you see the film also like there is one more growth uh, where Singham takes uh, like what we are talking about right. like how the universe will expand. It's there. There is a hint of that okay. in that film and. Uh, uh, coming back, I, that's what I give as example to a lot of other actors, uh, in, especially in today's time. Like you can't make a goal mal. Right. Like there have been times like we narrate a scene and he will tell me that Kunal ko Kunal will like he he's one actor who's always worked for the film, yeah. not for himself. Right. How rare is that, uh, Rohit? 
For me, it's the rest. Yeah. Keeping the new generation in mind. Rest, I don't know. No, I think I think people who think that we are competing with each other in a film, uh, they are in the wrong business. Because the idea is that eventually the film matters. Yeah. And if the film works, everybody is appreciated. If the film doesn't work, nobody is appreciated. So, you should do what works best for the film. And that can only happen when you are working for the film and not for yourself. So, I think, I think some of the people who don't think like this, who are in this business, should not be there. The, the, the magic of having sort of 